My name is Barham Obadeya. I'm a consultant in gastroenterology and hepatology at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. It's a pleasure to talk to you today about a novel endoscopic procedure for the treatment of obesity called endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. As you know, obesity is a global pandemic and we at the United States are at the epicenter of this pandemic. Unfortunately, despite the magnitude of the problem, uh, our treatment approach to obesity is still lacking. On the one end of the spectrum, we have lifestyle intervention that focus on diet and exercise, which are important for any management strategy for obesity. However, they have not been sufficient to address the magnitude of the problem. On the other end of the spectrum, we have a whole gamut of bariatric surgical procedures that do produce significant and sustained weight loss. However, given the risks and cost associated with surgery, only about one to 2% of people who do qualify for these surgeries get these interventions. Therefore, we developed this endoscopic procedure for the treatment of obesity that is called endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. In this outpatient procedure, we use an endoscopic suturing device to placate the greater curvature of the stomach to create a restrictive sleeve. In this prospective study of 25 individuals with mild to moderate obesity, we report our midterm efficacy endpoints and also study the physiological alterations associated with endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty. At one year, endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty produced about 54% excess weight loss, and at 20 months, it produced about 45% excess weight loss. In a subset of the population, we study alterations in gastric emptying using scintigraphy. We studied changes in satiations using meal tolerance testing, and we studied changes in the gut neurohormones and insulin sensitivity. We have, we've shown that endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty is associated with a significant decrease in gastric emptying, improved satiation, and there's a trend for improvement in insulin sensitivity and gut neurohormones, especially ghrelin is not increased after endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty, unlike restrictive diets. So in conclusion, endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty seems to produce a durable and significant weight loss, at least in the midterm. It also is associated with physiological alterations that might enhance its durability. Further studies that looks at the physiological alteration after endoscopic sleeve gastroplasty in larger number of patients are needed. Thank you.